This is Movie Time. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The outlook in fashions for 1946 is still austerity. It could hardly be otherwise with clothing coupons fewer than ever and the world in its present state. Interested audiences have been attending the dress shows where although the models have of course been elegant, no great changes in line and detail have been apparent. This show at Selfridges was of British costumes. In Paris, though the famous boulevards are neither gay nor full of well-dressed women, ideas about the future of fashion are forming. Some of these have been shown to Britain in the figurine show called The Fantasy of Fashion, staged first in London, now in Leeds. Figurines are small dolls attired in copies of the life-size dresses. In the old days, before photographs, they were widely used to show the fashion models of one city to another. Now the figurine has been revived owing to the scarcity of fabrics to make full-size dresses. No orders were taken. These were intended just to illustrate the Paris dressmakers' plans for the future. As to those plans, notice that shoulders are beginning to slope again. Sleeves are spreading themselves. There's a V effect tapering to a narrow waist, and the waists are ridiculously thin. That's something to do with the years of occupation. Parisians are no longer plump, so making a virtue of necessity, they design fashions based on the wasp waist. Well, it may be some time before these French ideas catch on here again. British women rather fancy their tailored clothes. But here's one type of costume in which the women of these islands always look their best and in which British designers excel. It's one, too, which is always in fashion. 